If you're ready to start making herbal oils, I'm showing three different methods to do it. The double boiler method, the crock pot method, or even the yogurt maker. Now for those who are new to my channel, I've been asked about making infused herbal oils without the magical butter machine. I have more detailed videos for making infused herbal oils. One is called How to Make Infused Herbal Oil with Dried Herbs and how to make comfrey oil with fresh or dry herbs. Now, if, uh, there are many methods to infuse oils with dry herbs. The old traditional method was to chop or grind the dried herbs, place in a jar with a tight-fitting lid, cover the herbs by two to three inches of oil, and set in a sunny window for two to three weeks or up to four to six weeks. Label the jar with the name of the herbs, the oil used, and the date. And this mixture is shaken two times a day. Then you strain it and you stir in the vitamin E of 500 IUs per 8 ounces of oil. And you store the oil in the dark colored bottles. And of course the new bottles you put them in you also want to label it with the name of the herbs, the oil used, and the date. Now if you don't want to wait four to six weeks there are several methods that you cook them. You chop or grind your dry herbs and place on the top part of the double boiler with water in the bottom part. Now you uh, cover the dry herbs with one to two inches over the top of the herbs. Now I prefer olive oil if I'm making a healing salve and grapeseed oil if I'm using it for skin care. Then you want to simmer it gently for at least an hour. Two to three hours would be better, keeping the temperature under 140. Then you remove the pan from your heat source, dry off the bottom of the pan to prevent any moisture dripping into your oil, and you're going to let this cool for about five minutes. Now I have always used a reusable coffee filter in the past, and you do need to make sure you let your oil cool for at least five minutes to prevent from melting the coffee filter. But you can use a jelly bag, a cheesecloth, or whatever you have on hand. Now that I have a magical butter filter press, I prefer that. Now after the, uh, after the herb infused oil is strained, you want to stir in 500 IUs of vitamin E per cup of oil. And after the oil is completely cool, pour into a brown or dark colored bottle. You want to label it with the name of the herb, name of the oil used, and the date. Because I promise you, if you will forget the name of the herb infused oil if you do not label it. Now, a more precise method uses a ratio of herbs to oil. A rehydration process using alcohol is also applied. Now, the standard ratio is 1 to 7. Some herbs, such as arnica, yarrow, pine needles, are fluffy, and the ratio would be 1 to 9. And if the herbs do not move freely in the oil, you would add additional oil. Most healing infused oils use olive oil. You're going to need a, a blender or a food grinder, a bow with a lid, or a jar with a tight fitting lid, a slow cooker or yogurt baker with small jars, steering spoons, a scale, measuring cup, storage jars or dark colored bottles, funnels, labels, or painter's tape with a black marker. Now you are going to weigh your dry herbs, but you are going to measure your liquid oil. And you're going to need one to tablespoons of Everclear or other 100 proof vodka and vitamin E, 500 IUs. Now you've weighed one ounce of dried herbs. You're going to grind them in a blender. You may need to do this a handful at a time and pour the ground up herbs back into a bowl. Uh, now, add just enough 100 proof alcohol to moisten the herbs. Start with one tablespoon and add more alcohol if the herbs are fluffy. Use your fingers to stir together and make sure all the herbs are moist. Not wet, just moist. This process helps with the extraction process. And then you're going to cover your container and let it set 8 to 12 hours. Now, if you do not have a bowl with a tight fitting lid, pour into a canning jar and cover. Place the rehydrated herbs in a small slow cooker, stir in the oil, set it on warm, but do not cover. Let it simmer for three to 24 hours, monitoring the temperature to make sure it does not go over 140. 
The oil itself should start turning the color of the herb and smell herby. Of course, then you want to strain the oil, uh, stir in your vitamin E, pour into a dark colored bottle, and you want to label it with the name of the herbs, the oil used, and the date. But always remember to let it cool completely before tapping. And you can also use a yogurt maker. You mix the oil and the herbs together, pour into small jars, and place in the yogurt maker. But do not put caps on the jars. Notice that the lid to the yogurt maker will not go all the way to the bottom. Now this is especially good if you're wanting to make several different oils at a time because you can fit several jars in here. Then of course you would process in the yogurt maker overnight. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. We are a small family farm and we need your support to continue to make these videos and share natural healing remedies. Visit me at familyguidetoherbs.com. Now my channel name on YouTube is Carolyn Gibson Herbalist.